Ozempic medication that cost manufacturers five dollars to manufacture and they're charging um, people here in the United States of America they're charging Americans one thousand six hundred dollars a month but if you live in other countries like the United Kingdom Germany France Canada or China the same medication that we're paying one thousand six hundred dollars a month for will only cost you less than $100 a month. So I'd really like to understand why we're being charged $1,600 a month for a medication that costs $5. Anyway, back to my story. Um, and why is it all we're hearing about is success stories? Um, for me, my story on Ozempic definitely was not a success story, and it took three tries for me to understand why Ozempic is not for me. And I have a warning to share with y'all about people who probably should not be on Ozempic. And again, it took me doing research to understand why I was having bad side effects and why Ozempic is not good for me. It's just not a good fit. Um... Um, I've struggled with my weight my entire life. I've been on every diet. I've tried every diet pill. I've done every diet gimmick. I've researched and anything to lose weight. I've always, I've always struggled with my weight and I've always tried to keep my weight down because I'm vain. I wanted to be the first person in line. I wanted to get some Ozempic. Excuse me if y'all are hearing noises in the background i raised my grandson his name is theo and he is non-verbal autistic and he makes he doesn't talk but he makes a lot of weird noises so that's him and my daughter in the background um and i'm filming this at night time so anyway um like i said i've struggled with my weight my entire life and i couldn't wait to get my hands on ozempic so i went to my doctor uh who i'd been going to for several years uh because she's the doctor that prescribes thyroid medication for me. I um, have been on thyroid medication since my early 20s. I have something called hypothyroidism and I'm on a very high dose of thyroid medication and I have been for a long, long time. Thyroid, thyroid medication is also known as hormone replacement therapy and that's very important. Uh, that's a very important part of the story. Just remember that thyroid is hormone replacement therapy. So um, I went to my doctor and she knew, uh, and I went to my doctor and I asked her if she would write me a prescription for Ozempic. And um, like I said, since I've been going to her for a long time, she knows I live in a very limited budget. And she said, yeah, I'll write, I'll write it for you, but it's super expensive. And, um, but if we do your blood work and if you're either diabetic or pre-diabetic, your insurance will cover Ozempic. So I said, okay. And I asked her, I said, what if my insurance won't cover Ozempic? Will you write me regular diet pills? And she said, no, I, I, I don't write anything else from now on. The only, the only weight loss medication I prescribe is Ozempic. So I thought, huh, okay. Well, that should have been my first red flag that I didn't pay attention to. Anyway, so... I got my blood work done and it came back. My A1C level was elevated above seven and, th that, and that's when you're considered pre-diabetic. So uh, my insurance covered my Ozempic. So I got my Ozempic and I brought it home and it's a pen. It's, it's a weekly injection that you give yourself. Well, I'm, I've never in my entire life given myself a shot. So I called my doctor and I said, do I bring this in so you can show me how to give me, you know, give myself an injection? And she said, no, just watch a YouTube video. So I thought, okay. <laughs> so I opened my laptop up and I logged on to YouTube and I searched Ozempic, uh, how to take Ozempic. And I just chose from one of the thousands of videos on how to take Ozempic. And I watched the video and it just says that you're supposed to Give yourself the Ozempic injection um, in your upper ad abdomen or in your in your thigh where there's there's fatty um, where you got a lot of fat. Like don't don't give yourself an injection in your muscle. So I was like okay, and so so I gave myself an injection. Again, I think that's that's um, 
not a good procedure. I really do think that for an injection, I think that either the nurse or the doctor or someone should be there to help you the first time you give yourself a shot. Because like I said, I've never given myself a shot before. Anyway, um, after I took my first shot, um, my side effects started immediately and they were horrible. I, I mean, the nausea, overwhelming nausea and I just stayed so tired all the time. Like I can't explain to you how tired I was. But like I said, I want to be thin. So I, the first time, my first try on Ozempic, I, um, I stayed, I, I took my shots for, for five weeks and um, when the sixth week shot rolled around, I, I just couldn't bring myself to take the shot because I felt that bad. So I stopped taking that. And that was, that was in 2021. Well, about a year rolls around and I keep hearing about Ozempic and it's the spring of 2022. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give Ozempic another try. Maybe what I should do is instead of taking the starter dose, which is 0.25, maybe what I should do is just try to take half of that dose just to see if I do better. You know, maybe, maybe I can handle the symptoms better on a 0.12 dose. So I tried that for a couple of weeks, but again, my side effects were so bad. Like I, I can't even explain to you how bad my side effects were. They were so bad, even at a, at a lower dose, I only lasted a week or two. So two more years roll around and it's now spring of 2024. And once again, all we're hearing about is Ozempic. Everybody's lost weight on Ozempic. The movie stars, the social media influencers, the housewives, TV stars, TV personalities, friends, family, loved one, everybody has done fabulous on Ozempic. So I thought, well, you know what, Lori, you're going to try Ozempic one more time and you're going to take it this time long enough to where those, sub, those side effects are going to go away. You're going to take it long enough to where you don't have these horrible side effects anymore. So I did my first shot um, and again, my side effects, they came on strong right after I took the shot. And I tried to tell myself, they're really not that bad this time. I just have to take it long enough to get through. The, the side effects are going to go. If I stay on it long enough, the side effects are going to go away. So after four weeks of taking Ozempic, I was so excited because I really hadn't been eating. My nausea was so bad. Um, and when I did eat, I was eating healthy. So I just knew I'd lost a ton of weight. So I thought, okay, it's time for me to pull off the scale and weigh myself because I wanted to see how much weight I'd lost. So I got my scale and I pulled it out and I laid it on the floor. I stepped on it and I looked down and boy was I shocked when I saw my results. They were truly shocking because not only had I not lost any weight on Ozempic, I gained four pounds. Like how is that possible? Have you heard of anybody that's gained weight on Ozempic? But like I said, I told myself I was going to take Ozempic until my side effects went away. So I went ahead and I took that fifth shot uh, and I struggled through the next week again. The side effects for me were so bad. So before it was time for me to take the sixth shot, I decided to weigh myself again because I just knew I was going to have lost weight this time because I have not been eating. So I pull up my scale once again, I lay it on the ground and I step on it and I look down and there again, it was shocking. Not only had I not lost any of the four pounds that I'd gained, I had gained an additional three pounds on top of that. So that's seven pounds I gained in six weeks or in five weeks. And I really hadn't been eating. So at that time, I knew it was time for me to do some additional research on Ozempic. Why am I gaining weight on Ozempic? Um, well, my seven pound weight gain, how could this be? I've barely eaten anything. I've been so nauseous I can't eat. And when, and when I do eat, I'm watching what I eat. And my exhaustion was horrible. And all I wanted to do was sleep all the time. So when I began my research, I finally found an article that mentioned if you're on HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy, which I am on and which I have been on for 30 years, I'm on thyroid medication, a very high dose of thyroid medication. So if you're on thyroid medication or any type of HRT medication, Ozempic may not be good for you. In fact, 
in fact, if you're on HRT medication, what happens is uh, it could be harmful to you because um, it can actually cause your metabolism to shut down. I've never even heard of my metabolism shutting down. So I had to read about what does that mean? How does your metabolism, what happens to you if your metabolism shuts down? Well, what happens when your metabolism shuts down is anytime you eat, it doesn't matter what you're eating, you eat and it's like your body turns to sugar, which causes you to be exhausted and you just want to sleep all the time. So that's when the bells went off in my head. Ding, 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 Lori, that's exactly what's happened to me. And that's exactly why I wanted to share my story to let anybody know that's on any type of hormone replacement therapy that Ozempic, the miracle weight loss drug, the liquid gold, the one where everybody has great success stories, it may just not be the right medication for you. And I'd be extra cautious to take it because um, I can usually muster through any kind of side effects, but like I said, my body was telling me at the time that I think I, I truly believe that's why my side effects were so bad is because it was like putting poison into my body. It just was not a good medication for me to be on. So I'm going to end this story by saying if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And for, for me, that is absolutely true. Ozempic is not my miracle. It's not for me. Um, it's been almost two weeks since I took my last shot now, and I'm still nauseous. I still have a hard time eating. I'm still so freaking tired. I, I just can't tell you how tired I am. I'm just tired all the time, so I'm so ready for this medication to get out of my body. End of my video. Thank you. Uh, stories are meant to be shared, and this is my story, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. Um, so if you're still here, if you could please hit the like button, and if you could subscribe, my last video that I made, I got over 2,000 views, but only 23 likes. Um, and I'd really like to share my video and get it out so everybody can hear my story. And it's just kind of a warning story, especially if you're on hormone replacement therapy. I believe it's a story you need to hear. Um, and I like to end each one of my nightly vlogs by saying this. Always remember to be kind because we never know what others are going through and your kindness might just be what makes their difference okay that's my story that's my nightly vlog thank you all for listening have a wonderful night we'll see you again tomorrow night for another story bye for now